The ship of dream moors mid blue sky and lows its gangplank down to a sweep of sparkling sands. It is time to leave. I wave goodbye to my colourful characters and descend onto those sands that then rise before me in twists and turns, becoming a bright path that leads me through a misty world half formed, half forgotten, until I am stood in front of a house, vaguely familiar. Memory starts up its foggy fires of who I am, and I know the house to be mine. I turn the handle, I step inside, and suddenly I know she is there, behind me. And I turn around to see this girl, this argent beauty, and I feel her feelings towards me are as breathlessly perfect as her figure's every line, and her dark eyes drink me in with such a fascination that I have not felt since eons pass me by like water lilies down the stream as she asks me coyly, exchange your old lamps for new. And how I want to, but I am a good man. No, I say, I cannot, not now. And I linger on the now as I close the door carefully. Like closing a book of magic that I yearn to read, I close the book for now. And I turn around and sadly, like a wisp of a ghost, I travel through the hall, up the stairs, into our room, into our bed, and I'm awake. It is a bright day. It's a fresh day. It's a beautiful day, a new day. I throw off my covers from my side of the bed, like turning a page in a book, a new page. But nothing's really changed, has it? I get out of bed, go to the door, close it slowly and carefully, like closing a heavy tome, sadly. What has happened to us that we can't talk anymore? Your words spin off the page and chase and harry me through every room of this house, and there's no predicting what's coming next. Your love is like a tome that I am expected to read and have tried to read a thousand times. But the pages keep changing and I keep restarting and I get angry and lost and confused and self-doubting and sucked down in a whirlpool of black characters that I don't understand and I can't do this anymore. I go downstairs, real now, feeling every step. And I sit in the kitchen and look out the window. It is a bright day. It is a beautiful day. I see a flock of white birds blow and tumbling through the ethereal blue like a choir of white pages above an old oak tree standing fast. And the birds are gone to fairer lands. And I daydream of the lamp girl, of opening her book of magic, of feeling her spine arch under my fingertips as I pour down my fire and drink her in and she drinks me in. And if I had a thousand lives to cast, I could easily spend, I could easily expend this one on being the good man, the strong man. But if this is all I've got, what am I doing it for? Who... Who values it? Ah, I can hear noises upstairs. The kids are awake. They'll be downstairs soon. I can't have this book open. So I close it up and put it on the back shelf of my skull. For now. <laughs>